Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of my Hornby Hobby. So I'm sat here in the middle of the layout with the Hogwarts Express going around me uh, because something's got to be spoken about. I am not the best modeler by any stretch of the imagination. And yet, despite all my follies and everything that's been going on, I mean, me finally snapping, Jesus. <laughs> not one of my finest moments, I will agree. But despite all that, you guys, you, you are still here. You are still supporting me. And I mean, the last request that we did, Sturford Model Railway, um, commented and said that this, they've been subscribed to me for over a year. That's bonkers in of itself. And then com further commented to say that they'd put my name on a donation page thing. So um, I could get more supporters and whatnot. And, you know, you, <laughs> I, I can't put it into words, but you mean a lot to me. I mean, I wouldn't have this channel or this content if it weren't for you guys. I really wouldn't. I mean... Kelly's always helping me with identifying locomotives and their real life counterparts and where they worked and so on and so forth. What each thing used to be and if they've been scrapped, if they're preserved. You know, I, I really get a load of knowledge from her and, you know, doing the requests, I've, I'm glad that I've gotten back into it now because, you know, it's A, content for the channel. B, it gives me a chance to run trains, which, you know, I mean, back... Back in the early days of the channel, you know, um, one thing I said was I always wanted to be a train driver. And this is one step closer to achieving that dream. You know, to controlling trains, to deciding what, what does what, and so on and so forth. But I wouldn't be here, and neither would any of this collection, without you. And I, I don't have a Patreon page, I don't need one. I just need loads of subscribers. That's what I do because that's what I concentrate on, the subscriber count. But not necessarily the subscriber count, but the atmosphere and the mood in general in my comments. You know, you're all so bloody fantastic. You really are. You don't lose your patience with me, even though, you know, I'm getting, I am get ratty and, you know, just stop derailing. You know, you know what I mean? And, you know, the final episode of my Hornby Hobby is not going to be the final one by any means. I'm going to keep documenting this. I, it's true. I do get stressed. And you can understand it because derailments on a, on a real way, railway, you want to avoid like the plague, don't you? You do not want any derailments because it risks injuring the passengers or damaging the engines. And that's why I don't want it to happen in in model real life because you know if the if i'm running the hogwarts express at you know a realistic speed something that it would be doing in the films and then all of a sudden it derails on that curve there you know i mean think of how many students get killed there or you know think of how much damage that's doing to it and that's why i don't like um that's why i don't want derailments but I can happily say, though, that I have learned from my mistakes with regards to the first layout. So what I did in the first layout, I put the ballast down um, and then pinned the track down, which made the track all wonky. And plus, I think I was using the wrong kind of curves on the layout. I think I, w I might have been using first radius um, on, on one of them. I don't know what curves I was using, but... Since then, I've learned all about track, track geometry and all that because I know exactly what I want to do for the next layout. And hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, we'll be doing that. It will be started next, sometime next month. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Because I've got enthusiasm for it. I've got, I've got a good roaring fire. I've got a coal in the tender. I've got water in my tanks. And I've got a good head of steam. I've got plenty of pressure. I can do it. I just need the baseboard and the track. I mean, looking at the pile of track that I've already got here, 
I've got enough to get started, but not enough to make the complete loop. And we will be adding in the turntable. There's going to be automated points, automated turntable. It's going to be off the fucking scale, lads. But anyway, back to the topic. I really, really appreciate everything you guys do for this channel. You're constantly bigging me up. You're constantly keeping me in a good state of mind. You're always like, hey, love your videos. Thanks. And, you know, oh, thanks for the request. You know, you never... You're never nasty to me. I mean, that's what I got endlessly before I called this channel my hobby hobby. When I was doing singing and dancing videos, I got nothing um, but negative comments. But since this has been my hobby hobby, it's I've got such a great community and an amazing subscriber base. You know, I don't care if I never reach. A thousand subscribers. I mean, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, if we ever do, I need to think of something special to do. So, if you can think of anything special that I can do for the thousand subscriber special, let me know in the comments. And that's another thing. I love, love getting comments. I love it. Going into the YouTube Studio app, seeing what's held for review, and if I get a long list of comments, woohoo! It's just nice to just go through and see what advice I'm being given, what requests I'm being given, and so on and so forth. I have got the greatest subscribers, and I know this is not going to be enough, but thank you so much. Thank you dearly to each and every one of you. Thank you. It really means the world. And I mean, <laughs> I, can't, I can't put it into words. I lit literally, literally can't. So, <laughs> in fact, one thing I'm going to start doing, guys, I've just thought of this. I'm going to try and get loads more rolling stock so I can name the rolling stock after you. That's right. You're going to have a coach named after you, a brake van named after you, or something, a piece of rolling stock named after you. I know it's not as good as a locomotive named after you, but may maybe one day, maybe the B12, when we get that, maybe one of you can have your name put on that, because I don't think it's got a nameplate on it. If it's got a nameplate on it, I'll, I'll use it. Um, hey, the J52 needs a name, so if anyone like, would like to be named after the J52, let me know. Um, and I'm sure there's like loads of others. Um, da -da -da -da. That Deltic, the lime green and the dark green, that needs a name. Uh, J50, that's got a name. The DMU, that needs a name. Uh, the Black 5 needs a name. The AF needs a name. So maybe I should do another video showing, you know, these are the locomotives that you can be named after. Pick which one you want. Because I think that's... It's the least I can do, you know, after what you guys do for me. So, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And just out of habit, if you did, like, comment and subscribe. Always much appreciated. And until next time, stay safe and thanks for watching.